So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun. Let's give it a shot. What's up guys, Toaster Corgi Gaming back here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel Masochist. Now, when we last left off, we had a huge pull. Like, I'm talking huge. It's huge. Gotta pull that Trumpism in there. We got a card that Confusion Summon. Am I even looking the right way? No, I am not. And I don't care. Because we can actually Fusion Summon our Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. And... If it's destroyed, destroy all opponent's special summoned monsters. So we are taking this and shoving that in there right now. Which means, and with all the dark monsters we've got, oh boy, it's going to be good. We may take out Blue Brawler, even things up a bit. We'll keep the two field spells. Ditch Predaplanet because we don't need that anymore. What else is there? We'll probably... We'll keep the Venom Cobra just in case. Yeah, I think we're good. And let's get right into the duels! All right, Angel of Seven, and we got the card, baby! Now, yes, our card will be destroyed during the end phase, but we have a plan for that because... Wow, the Bell Star. Uh, okay, not the best start, but we'll see what we can make work with. See what we can make work with. Yes, words. Zysimo like runs an insect deck. We are running... God knows what. <laughs> We still don't have a plan, but we may try in the next video, or heck, during the stream, We may, if we decide to stream again, we may decide to make... Yeah, um, I'm out. <laughs> Just next. Continue in the next video. Or, next fight. Alright. Alright, so we're up first, and we got Divine Wrath, and we got our Reptilian, and we got our Kaiju, which I really would have liked a different Kaiju, but we'll take what we can get. Mm. It's not that great of a card, but since we got rid of Pleta Planet, we got rid of Pleta Planet. We can actually use Spider Orchid. And I'm sorry if you see that in your garden, run like hell and set that shit on fire. That's terrifying. I mean, how many villain characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, in the franchise, in every anime, how many use plant decks? I think there was only Akiza and Yuri, and that was it. And whoever, what's his name with the Sinavalons? Oh, you taunt us so, don't you? Well, if we can tribute some of this with two tributes, that actually would be pretty funny. Yeah, it's like, here's a 3300 beat stick. Alright, what are they gonna do? What you gonna do? Kaiser. I don't like that. Or that either. We'll take this, just we'll very likely not be able to beat over anything, but Well, we can get rid of that real fast. Ooh, this will be very useful. Alright, start with Gleef, the Phantom Bird. Okay, why didn't you activate?
Spell and trap zone. Can't target field spells. Well, poo. Okay, so Gleef will probably get replaced due to that reason. That ultimately blows. It's like the field spell zone, not spell and trap zones. It's like the wording and the phrasing. Ugh. This is why I promote Pokemon instead of Yu-Gi-Oh. As well as learning to read your cards. Okay, we got a defense option. We do have our one day we'll summon Masquerade. But they will lose level attack equal to their level. Alright, can I attack the turn it is summoned? That's a problem. We could get rid of it, but that's ultimately gonna bite us in the butt. And Banish one card from the top of your deck face down instead. Now the boss monsters for tunes are... BLS, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, which are level 7s and 8s, so 2200, our Feral Imp King can beat over it. We just gotta keep our Burden of the Mighty in play. I mean, if we can, we may be able to deck them. There's always a chance we can deck them out. It's very unlikely, but there is a chance. In fact, ooh, I forgot, a Burden of the Mighty, we can actually use that and body it. Huh? Oh, especially summon red eyes with it. I'm gonna say no. Ditch or Spirit Reaper just in case. And that was their normal summon. Then they're gonna attack and body it. Okay. That's rude. But still can't attack. Or you can't destroy my monsters. But you can attack directly. So... That's a problem. Our only chance is to get a level 4... Yeah, we have a Mighty Warrior now, but we can't use it. Now they're going to rank 4 Xyz? Heartland Draco, that's a new one. I cannot target this card for attack, which means I... Okay, that doesn't mean I can attack directly. And it doesn't have levels, which is a problem. But it's not a tune monster. And we can't summon that because we don't have the right materials. We'll change defense because that's the only thing we can do.
Kind of looks like it could be a wind-up for a kid's toy. I feel like this is a manga card. Okay, it's not a Toon monster. They set a trap, which is probably another Toon mask or Toon comic hand, was it? Here we got a level four. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Shame it wasn't Raider's Wing, but... Let's test this theory. Okay, so no, we can't attack because we can't attack directly. This would be very good to have. In the future. But he can only attack directly one more time. If he draws a normal summonable monster, we're kinda in deep crap. Although we could have just gone for... We could have, we should have just summoned Jizakiru. Just to see what would happen. Okay, so we can't use that. We could use that. Now. All right. We may have turned this around. And we beat our own Jizakiru. But I'm worried about that face down. This would be a good time to have Gleef back in hand, but alas, we can't. Yes, we could. Now we run the problem. Tune added from deck to hand.
Well, that might be game because they're all stronger than us. Only chance is if it's red eyes. Yes! Oh man, dodged a bullet. Or not. Maybe if we did the strategy sooner. Okay, you can go fuck yourself. Team twat. But you really can't defend yourself against them unless you have a Toon monster, which good freaking luck with that. Okay, not the best hand, but not the worst. <laughs> ah, that name is fantastic, and it's and it's facts. Now, we do have an our, our Ogdewotic field spell, which would work with our monsters. Okay. What did that do? Don't know why you would do that. I'm getting real sick of Labyrinth, but there is no way for us to really beat them unless we have permanent back row destruction. And the only card I can think of is Unchained Abomination, which we can't even use. Even if we did pull it, we can't summon it because we need the Unchained Archetype. So they use their normal summon. Especially summon a labyrinth monster from your deck. But we do have Jizukiru in hand, so we do have that going for us. If we can draw another Earth monster, or not Earth, Dark Attribute monster, we should be fine. If we can draw Burden of the Mighty, we're golden. Like, that bitch is going down. Rank 4 or Link 2? Okay, so they're going to activate this one on their first turn, and they're going to activate these to counteract it. Because once she's on the field, that's a problem. You name yourself fuck the game, yet you still play it. Sounds like you're a liar. <laughs> and of course, Elder Entity and Tess. So 
It's like, everything just needs to be banned or eroded or something. Question is, can we out this? it was level 6, but I guess not. Trap card. Nope. No trap card. Now we just have to deal with Jizukiru. We wouldn't have this problem if we had Burden of the Mighty in play. Unfortunately, we don't, so we're kinda up a creek. Now they're gonna go into a Link 3, probably. We probably should have overlaid, because it is stronger, and the burn damage. It wouldn't have been much, but it still would have been something. But I'm not going to cheat and pull a Farfa in order just to get those bonus cards. I'm going to stick to my rules. Yeah, Farfa cheated, but he doesn't care. So, unintegrity. No integrity on him. You're only allowed master packs and legacy packs you win.
Oh, shit. didn't attack How about no? Even though it doesn't really- you know what? Fuck you. My labyrinth no skill players. You have- you people don't know fun anymore. I don't like this bat- that board. This is just gross looking. And silenced. Are you dyslexic? And they got the XX at both ends of their names. Alright, that may be a masochist. are we ever going to get to use this? It's a blue eyes player. <laughs> <coughs> I 
Yeah, Konami giving Blue Eyes crap loads of support just because they want to see them win a world championship. Yeah, that's called favoritism. The cards shouldn't matter, it's how the players use them. Super Poly on legs! Never needed to get made, because then it ruins so much. Alright, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Wow! Who'd have thunk it? Blue eyes, deck box, and sleeves. And mate. Discard a card that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon. One card that mentions it and special summon it. Kind of seems overloaded to me. And it's like Duel Log says nobody plays Blue Eyes. I'm like, play Master Duel, you'll sing a different tune. for some reason. Get that out of here. Get rid of that. Main phase two. See, why do they ask you if it's just going to do it anyway? Why do they do that? They need to. They need to remove that. It's like it's still going to happen regardless. If we still like Gear Golem and we attack directly next turn, I would lose my mind.
Chaos Max. And Blue Eyes, so they're gonna go for a Chaos Max strategy. Unfortunately, if they summon it. Oh, alternative? There goes Blue Eyes to Ritual Summon Out Chaos Dragon. No. Can't be destroyed by card effects, huh? And if we draw any monster, it's game over. Well, that kind of works. Dewatic by the win, baby. Oh, we got an SLR this time. Come on, give me something good. Alien Hunter. Okay, not that great, but it is a reptile. Banquet of Millions. Turn your extra deck face down and banish the same number. Oh, it's extra deck face up. Until the end phase. Okay, not that great. Trickstar Festival. Okay, tokens, yes. No normal summon except Trickstar Monsters. We don't have any. Lady of the Lake. Uh cannot be used as synchromit to your aqua uh, your aqua type. That's weird. Warrior type monster. This card banish it with this card is normal summon you target. Normal I normal monster, which we don't have. FA City Grand Prix. FA. Okay, so if we do build a machine deck, we will probably focus on the FA cards we've got. Oh, crap. Pendulum Halt. Nope. Cubic Ascension. And Forbidden Chalice. That's not bad. Alright, Burden of the Mighty. Right out of the gate. We'll hold off on Burden of the Mighty. We don't want it getting popped in an instant. Huh, didn't know Live Twins had their own card backs. Or sleeves. Ah, here we go again. So like, where are the Labyrinth bands?
Okay. Should we just do all of our losses as like mo if there's repeated losses back to back? Should we just do it as montages? Speed up the video. UA. Well, we can banish it, to say the least. We don't really have Dark Machines, Dark Dragons, or Water Warriors for the moment. Masochist? Maybe. Though I don't know why you wasted your double summon. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. You could have... You special summoned it. You had your other normal summon. Okay, if you control a DD monster, that's kind of pointless. Again, you need DD monsters. <laughs> Like, are you a self OTK deck? Because you're making me question a fair bit right now. We may try and modify our decks to be like several versions of the decks. I don't really know. Though we will have some standard issue staple cards. Maybe an insect version, reptile, machine. Tough to say. Or one that succeeds focused or synchro summoning focus, if we can get that far. Take a thousand damage. We'll summon out... Hmm. We'll summon Fan Pantetta. This is all just to get rid of that back row card. Since we can't summon... Since they put it in the same row or column as Gatia, the Dark Knight. 
No, that's game. Well, we were going to have the bear attack twice, but... Oh, well. We didn't. But, on to the packs. After we check their deck. Okay, um, I think they're self-OTK deck, yeah. Alright. Little Debbie, little Debbie, I'm coming on home, baby. Give me something good. Chaos End Master. Level 3 Warrior Tuner. That destroys and post monster by balance and enters the grave. You expect some level 5 or higher monster 1600 or less attack from your deck. That is very niche. Bayonet Punisher. Also very niche. Fright Fur Patchwork. An edge of monster and polymerization. Okay. Magic Cat. Okay, that's heroes. Black Sonic. We need Black Wings. Vanquish Soul Calamity Caesar. When opponent's spell a trap card or monster effect is activated, the target's a card you control while you control a vanquish soul monster and you get the opportunity to destroy the card, then you can inflict damage. Okay, this could go in the deck. It's very niche, but it's a negate. Subterra successor. Hmm. Flip monsters. Crystal beans. Oh, brother. Alright, give me something good this time. Okay, because that Crystal Beast card just kicked me in the nads. Boar Soldier. I said give me something good. Poison Chain. Uh, no. Don't have Iron Chain monsters. And that archetype really fell flat on its butt, didn't it? Baron of the Fiend Sword. Well, that's an insect, and we we can't... I'm sorry. This is not an insect. This is a crab. A crab. How does that make any sense? Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah